Good day and welcome to Eau Claire Evangelical Missionary Church here in Northern Ontario. I'm Pastor Jedediah with another encouragement from the Word of God. In today's story, we'll see three different kinds of people. You'll probably fit into one of these categories. So let's just get right into it. Luke chapter 15, starting in verse 11. Jesus went on to say, There was once a man who had two sons. The younger one said, Father, give me my share of the property now. So the man divided his property between his two sons, and after a few days, the younger son sold his part of the property. Then he left home and took the money with him. He went to a country far away where he wasted his money in reckless living. He spent everything he had. Then a severe famine spread over that country, and he was left without a thing. So he went to work for one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to farm and take care of the pigs. Now he wished he could fill himself with the bean pots the pigs ate. But nobody gave him anything to eat. At last he came to his senses and said, All my father's hired workers have more than enough to eat. Here I am about to starve. I'll get up, go to my father, and say, Father, I've sinned against God and against you. I'm no longer fit to be called your son. But treat me as one of your hired servants. So he got up and started back to his father. While he was still a long way from home, and his father saw him, and his heart was filled with pity, and he ran and threw his arms around his son and said, The father, father, I, the son said, I've sinned against God and against you. I'm no longer fit to be called your son. But the father called his servants and said, Hurry! Bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. Then go, get the prize calf and kill it. Let's celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead, but now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. And the feasting began. In the meantime, the elder son was out in the field. And on his way back, he heard the music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him, What's going on? Your brother's come back home. The servant answered, Your father's killed the prize calf, because he got him back safe and sound. The elder brother was so angry he would not go into the house so his father came out and begged him to come in he answered his father look all these years i have worked for you like a slave i have never disobeyed your orders and what have you given me not even a goat for me to have a feast with my friends the son of yours he's wasted all your property of prostitutes and when he comes back home you kill the prize calf for him my son, said the father, you're always here with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be happy, because your brother was dead, but now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's been found. So let's just go over three of the different people here. One is this selfish, reckless person who's living for himself, and as if his father didn't exist, and as if God didn't exist. Notice he says, I've sinned against God and against you. So he was a part of a religious family, and just abandoned God altogether. You know what? There's a lot of people like that. They call them prodigals, prodigal son. Right now, you might have walked away from God. You might have walked away from the church. Said, I've had it. I'm just going to live my life. And that's it. It's all about me anyways. Look out for number one. And you know what? You might have been living a great life, but eventually there's going to be a crisis. You're going to realize, I need to go back. And you might be intimidated. You know what? The Father's waiting. The church is waiting. Prodigals come home. It's time to come home. And we're going to be restored unto the Heavenly Father and the church. Another person in the story is the Father. He was a great picture of the Heavenly Father. He loves to find lost things and lost people. In fact, we're all like sheep who are lost because we went our own way. And while we are in that state, Jesus died for us. He took our punishment. Because the Father wants to restore that relationship. Then there's that other brother. That could be some of us. Some of you. You're uncomfortable with the idea of people coming back. You don't know what they did to me. You don't know how they betrayed me. 
Well, the same could be said by the other person. He said, I don't want to come back because you don't know what I've done to others. You don't know what I, what I said about God. The central character is actually the Father. He has mercy. That's who we're supposed to be like. Like Him. So be prepared. Those who are coming back, go for it. The rest of us, don't worry about it. Don't be nervous. Don't stress about it. God's got this under control. And you might not feel like you can forgive and be filled with mercy. Go to the Father and He will help you. And we can all rejoice for those that were lost shall be found. Have a great week. Be encouraged. God bless.